Um, what I wanted to talk about is something I've been thinking about a lot the last couple of days. I've been thinking about this for years, but lately, especially the last couple of weeks, it's been at, well the last couple of days, it's been at the forefront of my mind. And I've been thinking about women and their bodies. And as far as women being comfortable with their bodies. And I know a lot of women deal with weight when they talk about their bodies, but I'm talking more about other things that happen quite naturally. As far as um, hair. And I mean, for me, you know, hair has been not much of an issue, but it's kind of been an issue. Um, as I've talked about before, I went natural about um, 11 years ago, and it happened by accident. Well, let me not say accident happened, it didn't happen on purpose. I was tired of getting relaxers, so I started getting extensions all the time. Um, and then two years later, when I took my hair out and I asked my mom to do it, she said she didn't have anything she could do. So I just went to see this girl at my church. And she knew how to strand twist, so I just had my hair double stranded. And from then on, that's what it was. And so now I'm starting my locks. But anyways, what I was talking about is hair and women's bodies. And as far as um, the hair on their head and other places on their body. Um, a lot of women are not comfortable with um, the hair on their bodies. And this is made clear by as often the frequency and the intensity as to which they try to remove hair from their bodies. Case in point, when I was in middle school, um, I had my hair, my eyebrows uh, done for the first time and I had and I never thought it was like that big of a deal until this lady at my church she was like, oh you want to get your eyebrows? Your eyebrows done? I was like, okay. Because at the time, my mother had moved because she was um, starting a new job. And because my father was about to um, retire from his job, so she moved to where we were about to move. And like all these women were kind of coming in and they were just kind of like um, taking care of me and my sister as far as our hair and all this like girly stuff. And actually she knew the tweets that she had like a little scraper and she scraped my eyebrows. And they were really thin. They were like really thin. And like at first it was like weird to me. I was like, what happened? But then I got used to it and then like um when my eyebrows started going in, everybody was like, dang girl, you got some bushy eyebrows. And I'm like, oh, and then you know, everybody else was getting their, their eyebrows tweezed. So I was like, hey, let me just go ahead and get mine. So I, I invested some tweezers, some nice tweezers, and I started plugging my hair, my eyebrows. There's also been a time before where um, I was in middle school and I had some hair coming in on my lip and I basically used Nair on my face and took it off and my face was like red right here for like a while. It was something else. And then I think one other time since that I did, did it also but I still have hair there now but it's like at the same intensity it was back then, but I'm, I don't concentrate so much on it, so it's not that big a deal. So there are other women I know, and they have like a few hairs that come in every once in a while on their chin, and they pluck that out too. Now, I'm not saying like, I'm not trying, let me just finish what I'm trying to say. Let me turn that up. I'm starting a new video because um, there's something specific that I want to talk about. Well, two more talk about some other areas on the body. 
but I'm not talking all about this just to put a big focus on insecurity, but I want to talk about um, perhaps how women can talk more about women being comfortable with their bodies and not so much as women being insecure about it. So, alright, let's start the second one.